Okay, hello dear friends, good evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. So now we will read this book, the Mac Elder, Elderly Book of Greek Myths. So this one is about uh, Prometheus. <coughs> Prometheus and his brother, Epimetheus, Metheus. Both of the Mesias. <laughs> Prometheus and his brother Epimetheus were titans, members of a, of a race of giants. At the beginning of time, the gods fought a great battle with the titans to decide who would rule the universe. The gods won. But the titans, most of the titans were destroyed. So at the beginning of the time, the universe was a kind of chaos. And uh, there was no ruler. <clears throat> and uh, any time, if there is no ruler, if there is no elected ruler, if there is no... Um, elected the result, there will be chaos, right? There will be argument, there will be fight, and there will be recount, there will be all those things. So they started, they decided, let's fight. Whoever win the war will be the ruler of the universe. So the gods win the war, so they became the ruler of the world. And when they became the ruler of the world, they, of course, do not let the other part live a good life. So they destroyed most of the Titan, including the Titanic. Yeah, okay. It's a little bit further away from the story, but you get the idea. <clears throat> <clears throat> the golden drink after the touch of my fingers. The gods created the earth from the bodies of dead titans. Their bones became rocks and mountains. Their blood became the sea, lake, and river. Their eyes became the stars, and their hair the grass and trees. This is actually very much like uh, all these creation story are quite similar. Actually, in China, it is the same, and uh, the, the 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 bone become mountain, and the elbow and the rib, and uh, and uh, the hair, and uh, yeah, it becomes a different soft part or hard part. Yeah. Uh, the eyes, yes, Prometheus and his brother had fought alongside the gods. As a reward, they were given the task of filling the earth with living creatures. Prometheus and his brother kind of, uh, um, they, 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 they helped the gods to fight with the titans. So they were rewarded. And when it is win, the war is win, they got uh, their payback. <clears throat> living, living forms already crowd on the earth. They were pale, shapeless cre creatures. So there were already living forms, but they were just so ugly. And it's like this earthworm has no shape, has no color, has no... It just... Eh. Zeus, the ruler of the gods, asked Epimetheus to give each of these creatures a gift. Prometheus was to inspect his work and make sure that every creature had received 
something. Gift. God gift, God gifted and uh, heavenly gifted. She is very gifted. He is very gifted. The child is gifted. And this person, this artist is gifted. It comes from here. Epimetheus eagerly handed out the gifts to the gods. To some, he gave the gift of flying through the air, airplane maybe. Others received the gift of swimming in the ocean, Michael Phelps, for example. Some received sharp teeth and claws, Maybe Gugu, some received the ability to run fast, to dig deep and jump high. That's Gugu for everything. Some received further and fur. Others received scales and shells, the lion's mane, the zebra's stripes, the elephant's trunk. Oh. See all kinds of form. The peacock's tail, the leopard's spots were all received from Epimetheus. This must be the tide. This, I don't know. Let's see. At last. All of the gifts were, had been handed out. Epimetheus called for Prometheus to come and look over what he had done. This is a great work, a great job. You are doing wonderful, Prometheus said. Then he noticed two weak Naked creature crawling on the ground. What about these? These are human beings. Don't you have gift for them? The poor human being does not have fur, does not have scale, does not have... A, they were just not gifted. I never noticed the humans. Oh, poor Epimetheus, maybe... You just didn't notice. I forgot all about them, Epimetheus stammered. What can we do? I've given all of Zeus' gifts to the other animals. There is nothing left. Ah. Oh. Well, we lose at the, at the starting point. Human being lost at the starting point. We must find something for them, Prometheus said. Otherwise, they will be lowest, most miserable creature on earth. Since you have nothing left down there, I will go up to Mount Olympus, where the gods live. I will see what I can find there. Prometheus climbed to the top of Mount Olympus. Olympus. He carried an unlit torch with him, for he knew exactly what gift he hoped to bring back. When no one was looking, he lit the torch on the view of the sun, of the sun Shahyot, that Apollo, the god of sun, drove across the sky each day. You know, at that time, there was a, a, a god of the sun, Apollo, and uh, he was kind of a dandy boy and uh, not much to do. And he had, uh, he had a baumach, he had a, a good car, and d d driven by the horse with three or two horsepower. And he had nothing to do. He just uh, circling around in the sky and go here to see a girl, 
group go there to see another woman. Maybe at that time, no girl or woman, I forgot. Anyway, he was just uh, hunting around and having his fun time. And, uh, and uh, Prometheus found the, 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 the shahiyot, the cat, the uh, sun god of sun, Apollo's cat. And there is a wheel, right? He choo, choo, and and something like this, choo, 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 like the ancient uh, match. He got some fire from them, from that wheels. Prometheus hurried down the mountain. He presented the burning torch to the humans. You will always be weak and naked, he said. You will never possess the elephant's strength, the horse's speed, the snake's cunning, or the eagle's majesty. But with this gift, you can become their master. This is fire. Use it wisely, and you can rule the earth. Use it unwisely, and you will destroy yourself. The choice is yours. Mm. Use it wisely. You can cook food, you can make steam engine, and use it wrongly. You get California fire. Today it was smoky like uh, it's just, uh, just, uh, just uh, feels bad. Anyway, the humans took the gift of fire from Prometheus. At first they used it to keep warm, of course, in winter time. Later they learned to make clothes and tools. They learned to hunt and grow fruits and vegetables. Villages arose, then towns and cities, and then the big cosmopolitan cities, metropolitan cities, big humongous cities. Humans became masters of the earth. They ruled over the other animals as they do this as they do this to this day. Because of the fire, human became better off. We didn't have gift, but we can still go better off. Have they proved the worthy of Prometheus' gift? Not always. Yet humans still have the power to choose. Zeus became enraged when he learned that uh, what Prometheus had done. He never intended to give any earthly creature the gift of fire, not to cat not to elephant, not to eagle, not to anything. With fire, humans could become wise and powerful. Someday, they might even challenge the gods. Yeah, humans are already challenging the gods and leaving the earthly earth to another planet, to the Mars. Zeus decreed decreed a terrible punishment for Prometheus. Oh, oh this really makes me... Uh, he chained him to a rock at the top of a high mountain where he remained, where he remains today. Even today, if you go to a very tall mountain, you will see. It's, I have been to um, Mount Annapura. I think he was not there. 
and uh, and um, Kilimanjaro. He was not there. Himalaya. He was not there. Mount Whitney. I didn't see him on Mount Whitney. Didn't see on Mount McKinley. Anyway, a very high mountain with uh, some name. Mm. Where a hungry vulture tears at his flesh, which grow back as soon as it is swallowed. The torture is unending. So the vulture will <coughs> use the very sharp beak to open up the liver of uh, Prometheus and eat the liver. And in the night, the liver will grow up again, regrow, and the vulture will come the next day and torture him. Sometimes, when Prometheus can endure no more, he groans and pulls against his chain, making the earth tremble. This is why we have earthquake. Okay, hello, dear friends. So here is an ad for my podcast. So I have a, a, a podcast with stories, with blah, blah, blah. If you are interested, go to my uh, podcast to listen to these stories. And uh, they are under the description of this video. Thank you. Okay, this story is Pandora's box. I hope you can see better this way. Yeah, maybe you can see better this way. Pandora's box. Epimetheus web for his brother Prometheus, he pleaded with Zeus to have mercy. Zeus, please have mercy for my brother. He was suffering too much. Every day, the liver was bitten and regrow. No one can suffer it. Those who steal from the gods must be punished. Zeus was very determined. I must punish him, Zeus said. Forget your brother. You cannot help him. His fate is sealed until the end of time. He will never, never get a good life. He is doomed, Prometheus. Is doomed. What about me? Epimetheus asked. Every animal has a companion. Wolves run in packs. Fish swim in schools. Birds fly in flocks. Zebra run in herds. Even lowly snail and slugs have mates. I have no one. Prometheus was more than a brother. He was my dearest friend. Not only brother, he is more than a brother. He is the dearest friend and brother. Without him, I am so, so, so very truly alone. Zeus pitied Epimetheus. So he created a woman to be his companion. All the gods give her gifts. So Zeus created a woman. Yeah, 
not out of his hair, not out of his rib, not out of it. He just pick up a piece of rock or a piece of mud and no, 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 no. Maybe it's, it's a polymer clay or maybe a, a silly putty made a, a woman. And every god gives this woman some gift, of course. You are gifted. Mm. Okay, all the gods give her gifts. Artemis give her strength and courage. Asina give her wisdom. Eha give her majesty and grace. Hermes give her wit and cleverness. Aphrodite give her beauty. The gods call the woman Pandora, which means all gifts. Oh, Pan is everything. Dora, Dora, the Dora, the the Spanish Pandora. Dora is a gift. Dora, Dora, Pandora, yeah, okay, Pandora. Mm. It was a fitting name, for she had all the gifts that God would give. Oh, Pandora means gifted, means all gifts. Zeus carried Pandora. Zeus, Zeus carried Pandora to earth and presented her to Epimetheus. The titan wept with joy when he saw his new bride. Pandora, too, was pleased. Her bridegroom was handsome, kind, and truly in love with her. The bride and bridal. Mm. Gosh, handsome, kind, and truly in love. What others can you ask? Pandora and Epimetheus were married. All the gods came down from Olympus to celebrate their wedding. Epimetheus thanked the gods for giving him Pandora. She had brought laughter and joy to his life. Yeah, this is newlywed, right? And uh, they are just so happy. Epimetheus took Pandora through his house. He showed her every room. He opened every chest and cardboard so that she could see what was inside. Well, the first dating, although this was not dating, but uh, the girl checked about how many room you have, how many house you have, how many car you have, and uh, what do you eat, how many bowls, and uh, yeah, she, she check, checked it out, see what, uh, am I getting the worthy guy, am I getting a lousy guy, yeah, she checked it out. Mm. <laughs> This house is now our home, Epimetheus said. Everything here is yours as well as mine. However, Pandora noticed there was one box he didn't open. So everything is here. So now let's see, you have seen the, you have seen the bank account, you have seen the... The car key, you have seen everything. Mi casa es su casa. Je t'aime. Te amo. So they are very happy. And Pandora was very happy. Oh, this is an honest guy. He showed me everything. Oh, suddenly he realized, oh, oh, there is a box he didn't show me. Well, that doesn't seem right, you know. 
we should have a, a prenatal um, agreement or something and decide what's inside this uh, inside this box, the chest. Okay. What about this one? What is in here? She asked. Nothing. There is nothing you need to know about, Epimethea said. Leave that box alone. There is nothing inside that concerns you. It's my thing. Don't touch it. It's my business. Nothing to do with you. If you want someone to open up something, make sure you say, it's not yours. It has nothing to do with you. It must be checked. <laughs> that is for sure. Epimetheus made Pandora promise never to open the box. She agreed, although she could not understand why. She could not help thinking. What is inside that box? What secret does it contain that Epimetheus doesn't want to show me, doesn't want me to see? That is a little bit fishy. Despite her curiosity, Pandora kept her promise. Maybe just for a few days. I'm just saying didn't mean anything, okay? Pandora kept her promise. She never touched the box. She avoided going near it. She seldom looked at it. Yet, try as she might, she could not stop her curiosity from growing. What is inside that box? She wondered. What on earth? One day, while Epimetheus was out in the world, Pandora took a broom and began sweeping the house. Well, the honeymoon has done, has finished. It's time to go back to work. I clean up my room and, you know, and wash dish and cook and wash clothes. So she was just doing the normal, normal errands, normal chores. Uh, and sweeping the, 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 the house, she swept the dust from every room until she came to the one where the box stood in the corner. Oh, 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 oh. Pandora swept around it carefully, make sure not to touch it. She swept the dust into a dustpan. She was about to carry it away when she heard a voice calling her name. Pandora, Pandora, let me out. It was a tiny voice, like the cry of a baby kitten, like Cuckoo, no, like Cuckoo when she first arrived at our home. Pandora, Pandora, let me out. Pandora looked around the room, who was calling her? She heard it again. Pandora, 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 Pandora. It came from the box in the corner. Pandora put down her broom. Who are you? She asked. A poor, helpless creature. I'm shut up in this box with all my brothers and sisters. They are too weak to talk. We have been here for so, so, so long without food, without water, without air, without nothing. It's so dark inside. We have neither light nor air. Let me out. We will die if we remain here. Pandora had promised Epimetheus that she would leave the box alone. Never ever touch it. I have promised. I did. I promised. I promised Epimetheus, my dear husband. However, the gods had given her the gifts of kindness. 
and compassion. Oh, oh, kindness and compassion. She could not turn away from a creature in trouble because she had a gift of kindness and compassion. Pandora thought, I know I promised not to open the box. What if I just lift the lid a bit? That would not really be opening it. I only want to take a peek. If I see something nasty inside, I will shut it right away. This reminds me of a, a story when I was young and uh, uh, my neighbor, my, my classmate, and uh, he, he, she told me a story. And in her house, there was uh, uh, a piece of uh, candy at that time. We do not have candy, uh, candy or, or chocolate or something. And uh, the child wants to eat. Mom said, no, do not eat. And then the child said, can I just uh, um, take a look at it? And the mom said, well, hmm, you only look. It's okay. Let her look at it. And then the child smelled. Oh, it's so good. Can I just... Uh, um, touch with my lip a little bit. I, I will not bite it. <laughs> this reminds me of this story. Anyway. <clears throat> Pandora got down on her knees before the box. She lifted the lid just a crack and picked in. The lid flew off. A swarm of creatures burst out of the box. They surrounded Pandora, biting and stinging until she bled. Then they fled. Then they flew away. Oh! Epimetheus came home. He found Pandora lying on the floor, bruised and swollen. Her eyes were red from weeping. The overturned box lay in the corner. He knew at once what had happened. I am so sorry, Pandora said. I broke my promise. Something called it, called to me from inside the box. I wanted to see what it was. I only mean to take a pig. Instead, I ruined everything. I didn't mean it, but... Uh, Don't be sorry, said Epimetheus, taking her hand. You made a mistake. That is all. The fault was mine. I should have explained what was in the box, and why it had to remain closed. Yeah, when there is a secret, there is no secret. There is no secret. You try to keep a secret? Mm. <laughs> when I gave gifts to the animals, I had some ugly things left over that I thought no one deserved to have. Their names were sorrow, disease, misery, despair, and a host of other worries and misfortune. I could not get rid of them, so I put them in the box. As long as they stayed inside, they could not bother the world. I knew I could not keep them in the box. I could not keep them in the box forever. One day they would get loose. That day has come. It's all fate, not your problem, I promise. And there is nothing we can do about it. 
The gods created these troubles for a reason. They are part of creation, for better or for worse, and we must endure them. At that moment, Pandora heard another voice calling, "Pandora, don't forget me. I am still here." It came from inside the box. Oh no! Another misfortune. Epimetheus groaned. Perhaps we can hold on to this one. He and Pandora looked in the box together. At the bottom, they saw a shining creature with a gold wings. With gold wings, it looked up at them and smiled. My name is Hope. The creature said, "You do not have to keep me in a box. Put me in your heart, and I will stay with you forever. As long as you have hope, you need not fear misery or misfortune. With hope, you can overcome sorrow." And despair. Nothing can defeat you, as long as you have hope. Pandora and Epimetheus lifted hope from the box. They made a special place for her in their heart, where she remained for the rest of their lives. Hope. Is still with us. There is a special place for her in all our hearts. As long as she is there, the sorrows and troubles of the world can never defeat us. It can never defeat us as long as we have hope. In our heart, okay. Hello, dear friends. Here is I am on Patreon, and、uh, there are different levels of supporting. And、uh, from time to time, I post some uh, uh, special for Patreon patrons to to do as、uh, my appreciation for your support. Thank you very, very much.